What's up guys? This is my Mercedes CLA 45 AMG Orange Art Edition and today we're gonna do a sick review on it. Let's go! I feel like that intro was like super super hyped and like dramatic. I didn't mean it to be like that. But guys, leave a like if you want to see more stuff like this and let's seriously get into it though. Alright guys, so what exactly we're going to be doing is a full review of the Mercedes and then I'm also going to be telling you guys things that I absolutely hate about the car and wish were fixed and if those things were fixed, this car would literally be 100% perfect. Now, before we do start this review, I do want to say that this is my favorite car. I wouldn't say in the world, but it's my favorite daily driver in the world because this car is absolutely perfect. Everything is to perfection on it when it comes to a daily driver. I mean the thing is just absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous car and I have done actually some modifications to it as well. Actually, well not modification, sorry, modification because I've only done one modification. All I've done is exhaust. Um, I did not full exhaust but I did all the way from the downpipe all the way back. It's Valvetronic, um, uh, Valvetronic Army Tricks exhaust. Um, I didn't touch the downpipe though, the downpipe is still stock. And I've also blacked out all the chrome on the car as well. If you guys go around to the front and see that the front is blacked out, all the logo are blacked out everything is pretty much blacked out but other than that other than the army tricks exhaust and the blacked out logos I haven't done anything to this car absolutely nothing I mean it's it's stock it, it is how I bought it all the orange that was there when I bought it that's why hence why it's called orange art edition so that's not a custom paint or anything like that Personally, I think the best thing about this car is the inside of it. So I have the key right here. Let's go ahead and unlock it and let's go ahead and head inside the vehicle. So, da -da 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 -dum, da -da 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 -dum. before we do head inside the car, I do want to show you guys a feature on the door handle. So if I lock the car right now, okay, you guys heard it just lock. It's, it's completely locked. Now I can walk up to the car, put the key in my pocket, and unlock it just with my hand touching the door. But let's go ahead and head it inside the car and we're gonna start it up and do a rundown of all the electronics and all the cool stuff in this vehicle. So foot on the brake and then just start it. There you go, you can hear that Army Tricks exhaust back there, absolutely mean. So this car actually has four different modes. So it has an individual mode, a comfort mode, a sport mode, and a sport plus mode. The four modes can be found right here. So it automatically starts up the car to comfort mode. And then if we switch to sport, you can see it has put the car into sport. Then we can switch to sport plus. You can see sport plus, and then we can go back to individual, now you can see individual mode. Now, you're probably like unspeakable, what's the difference between all these four modes? Well, comfort mode is just the basic mode. It's just your basic normal car. Sport mode makes it a little bit sporty. Um, the shifts are a little bit harder. It doesn't change the exhaust or anything. It just makes the shifts a little bit harder, more responsive, makes the transmission more responsive. And sport plus pretty much doubles that. It makes the transmission extremely responsive. You're always running at about three, 4,000 RPMs. It's absolutely crazy. That is like the crazy mode. Individual mode, you can actually customize this mode and you can put it to whatever you want. You can completely customize it to your own custom mode. It's pretty sick. This car, of course, has all the cool media stuff right here. It has all the Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth audio, incredible, incredible stereo system as well. It's made by Harman Kardon. It is just... It's phenomenal. The I, I love the inside of this car. I mean, taking a look at the steering wheel, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if I'm not sure really what type of uh, material this is. It's kind of like a weird suede Alcantara. I'm not really 100% sure to be honest. But hold on, let's take a minute to talk about these seats. So these are AMG and Recaro racing seats. These are the most comfortable car seats I've ever sat in in my life. And I've sat in a lot of car seats. A lot of Recaro seats, I've sat in, you know, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, you name it. And these are the most comfy seats I've ever sat in to this day. I'm being dead serious. But not to mention, 
the way these seats look are just absolutely beautiful. The orange and white stripes right here, they match the whole outside of the car, all the stitching of the car, everything. And the back seats are also the exact same way. So just absolutely beautiful, beautiful seats. Um, you have this metal part right here, which is really, really nice as well. You got the AMG and then the Recaro logo right there as well. Pretty cool fact, these seats actually have so many adjustments, it's honestly ridiculous. They have three different back support settings, and you can also make the seats tighter as well. So I can actually tighten this, and I can tighten this lower part right here. So I can make it tighter on my legs, and I can make it tighter on my sides as well. You also have three different seat saving modes. So whenever you want to save a seat mode, you press M and then save it, and you can automatically go to those settings when you press the button. It doesn't just adjust the seat to what you save it to, but it adjusts the mirrors, everything. The list just keeps getting better, guys. There's a sunroof, and not just a little sunroof, a absolutely massive sunroof this sunroof goes all the way back to the back seats you can see it just goes all the way back here to about the middle of the back seats and oh my gosh it's just it's a beautiful sight we can't open it up as well it's fully automatic of course there we go look at that another cool thing is if we look right here there's actually a windbreaker right here so you can literally cruise on the highway at 85 90 miles per hour whatever and there is literally zero wind noise even if it's the windiest day in the world there is zero wind noise if we look at the dash of this car it's just absolutely a work of art starting with the steering wheel you do have paddle shifters of course metal paddle shifters you have automatic windshield wipers bunch of controls on the steering wheel that are very very nice such as push to talk if you want to automatically enable car commands and stuff like that and if we move over to the media and entertainment center you have a very large screen wrapped around with some carbon fiber around the bottom a lot of AC for you a lot of buttons you can punch in full phone numbers right there you also have heated seats traction control all that good stuff you can answer and decline calls and below that you have all your AC information so you have a bunch of different AC options. You can control the temperature even by the degree, which is absolutely beautiful. And then below that, you see AMG Orange Art Edition. You can press up this button and you have a nice little compartment right here with a cigarette lighter as well. And you also have, what is this? It's the remote for the army tricks. Ooh, fancy. And then right next to that, you have your shifter knob. This allows you to go into reverse, neutral, drive, park, and manual mode. And then you have the Control where you select you know comfort mode sport mode sport plus and then after that you have a little knob that allows you to control the whole entire media and entertainment kind of you know center this car does indeed have all the fancy stuff in it as well it has all the lighting within the door handles and I can change all that stuff now fortunately I can't activate it right now because it's not uh, nighttime it's pretty bright outside so the lights will not turn on so check this out guys so I have these pretty cool gauges right here that show me the temperatures the foot pounds of torque and the horsepower as well this is the horsepower this is the foot pounds of torque and then you have other temperature gauges as well now whenever I rev up the car you guys watch the gauges move of horsepower. Oh, did I mention it makes 350 horsepower? Yeah, that's that that's pretty good for a uh four-cylinder engine it is an inline four-cylinder with a turbocharger and speaking of the engine we need to check out the engine bay you guys want to do that next let me pop it open let me pop it open where's the little knob where is it there it is you little you little hider okay let's go ahead head out of here let's open up all the doors just so you guys can kind of get a view of what the whole entire car looks like so if we open up the trunk we have a lot of trunk space in here check this out you can fit a ton of things in there. I mean, here's my foot for an example. Here is the look at the back seats. Absolutely beautiful. And not just the back seats, but the back of the front seats. Absolutely beautiful. Love the metal kind of contrast right there. Coming over here to the passenger seat. The passenger also has saved memory settings for all the seat adjust adjustments. They have the same amount as the driver does as well. So that's very, very nice. And then the absolutely beautiful seats. I love you so much. Sorry, that was weird. I, I just really like these seats. Oh. All right, so we have some pretty fancy stuff in here. You know, it's an engine, it's fancy. But we have the AMG engine right here. It is handcrafted. Then you have the turbo right here. You guys can kind of see the turbo right there. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful engine there. 
And like I said, this is a inline four cylinder turbocharged engine making around 350 horsepower stock. Now I actually have a lot of cool modifications that I'm about to put into this car such as a AMS performance chip tune. I also have a downpipe that I want to add and a carbon fiber intake as well, which is going to push it to about 500 or to be exact, 491 foot pounds of torque and I think it's 450 horsepower. So that is incredible for an inline four cylinder. Whenever all the performance upgrades get done, if you guys wanna see a video on that, just leave a like on this one and let me know if you wanna see it in the comment section below and I'll be, I would love to make that. That would be so sick. I know you guys wanna go on a drive, so let's hit it. Let's go on a drive, woo, let's go. and it is beautiful it's a beautiful sight and we're here to talk about how this car drives how it performs and we're currently pulling up to a red light right now so we're about to get a pretty good exhaust clip or should we do a launch actually let's do a launch so basically to do a launch you put your foot on the brake really hard and you hold you press the two paddle shifters at the same time then it asks you confirm paddle up or paddle down you press paddle up and then just floor it and then let go of the brake is incredible <laughs> the launch on this car is definitely does not feel like 350 horsepower so the suspension is good for how much the car costs the suspension is good it's what I expected I didn't expect Lamborghini or Ferrari type of suspension I didn't expect to you know buy this car and track it and beat all the Lambos out there it, it takes the court as well don't get me wrong but it just you don't feel safe it's just a little bit edgy and a little bit scary when you're taking corners. See, y'all guys, in Texas, we don't have curvy roads. We just have straight lines. And that's why we got fast cars, okay? To put it this way, against all the other Mercedes that they sell, this is the cheapest, but nicest and fastest Mercedes you can buy. That's kind of how I see this car. The all-wheel drive and the handling on this car, absolutely, they're good, like I said, they're good, but they're decent. Like I said, you get what you paid for, but when you get what you paid for, the suspension is still absolutely incredible. I mean, I can floor it from a dead stop and completely turn my wheel, and I will not lose any traction at all. Here, I'll even, I'll even do it for you guys if I get to a red, uh, red light or stop sign or something. This is a pretty hard corner right here. All right, ready? I'm flooring it. Another thing is when you do launch control, it shifts for you automatically. We're gonna go back to the review in the parking lot, so we need to talk about five things that I hate about this car. And when it comes to the driving, I don't hate any of it. I know I was kind of picky about the suspension and the way it drives, and I am. I, I, am ten, I tend to be a picky person when it comes to cars. That was so sick, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> now it's time to tell you guys things that I hate about this car, things that I do not like about the CLA 45 AMG. Now I do have a little bit of a list. Now number one is going to be comfort mode. So when you switch it into comfort mode, it goes into comfort mode. And you would think that comfort mode is comfortable, you know, because that's what comfort mode stands for. But comfort mode is not so comfortable in this car. The reason it's terrible is the throttle response is so, so slow, it doesn't even feel like you're moving. So what you'll do is, you know, you'll put your foot on the gas and you'll step on it. And it will literally be a full second and and it won't even move sometimes. Sometimes it will be really responsive, but sometimes it will just not move. So then you step on the gas a little bit harder because you're like, okay, the car's not moving, what's going on? And then it just jerks forward and it happens It happens every single time you use comfort mode. It's absolutely ridiculous. So another thing I hate about the Mercedes is that when it comes to music, now don't get me wrong, the music on this car is absolutely beautiful, but there's no volume. You never know how loud
loud your music is getting. How do I know if this is 50% volume or if it's 80%, you know? Like you never know how loud the volume is because there's not a volume knob. It never tells you how loud the volume is. Another thing I dislike about this car is the back seats. Now, I know I never really sit in the back seats because I'm always driving the car, but when I have friends sit in the back seats, they absolutely hate it because the roof is so small. Now, I understand that this is a small car. It's a very small car. And if they were to make the big seats, the big seats? The back seats, my bad. If they were to make the back seats bigger, it would literally have to be a hatchback, which they do have, but it's just kind of annoying. I mean, I'm only five foot six and I'm sitting straight and I literally, I have to crook my head this way to sit up straight. What I'm saying is in a four door car, I should be able to get in the car and be comfortable in the back seats. I gotta list two more things that I don't like about this car and that's actually really, really difficult because this car is literally so perfect to me and you guys can tell that I'm just picking out the smallest and smallest details. But another thing that I don't like about the car is the reverse. I love the camera. The reverse quality of this car is so unbelievable. Check out that reverse camera. Like, look at that thing. Now the cool thing about this camera is you can switch to that and you can also see you know to the side of you if you're in a parking spot you can see out to the side of you see if there's any cars coming if you can't see out. The thing I don't like about it is this is a brand you know this is a brand new Mercedes and I would really like a feature of a overhead backup camera. It's an overhead view of your car so you can see the sides of you you can see the front of you you can see how close you're getting to the curb in front of you you can see how close you're getting to the curb on the side of you. It's literally a full overhead view of your car. And I really think they should add that. And that's one thing that I hate because my car doesn't have it and I'm jealous. I, re I really, I can't find a fifth one. If I want to be really picky, I wish there was handles right here. That's another thing I hate about my car. I know, I know. I'm literally picking the smallest things, but I seriously, I physically cannot think of big things that I hate about this car because there's not any. This car is literally made to perfection. I learn new things about it almost every single day and it's absolutely gorgeous. I think that is going to wrap it up for the review on my Mercedes CLA 45 AMG Orange Art Edition. If you guys are hyped to see the upgrades that I'm going to do to this car, such as the intake, uh, the tune, and the downpipe, which is going to make this thing even louder than it is right now, then let me know by leaving a like on this video. And if you guys want to see more car stuff, then just let me know in the comment section. Hopefully, I didn't bore you guys to death with, with this video, but if you are a car enthusiast like me, then you probably found this video very entertaining and very satisfying. Okay, maybe not satisfying, but probably entertaining. I do want to thank you you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day, and I will be seeing you guys in a couple days in a brand new video. And by the way, you guys might want to stick around for the next two vlogs I'm going to post on my real life channel, because if you guys like cars or you like Lamborghinis or Ferraris, I'm going to be at an event in Houston called Lamborghini Festival, and I'm going to be cruising around Houston with about 300 Lamborghinis, and that is going to make for some sick vlog content. So that will be posted up here in a couple days. But Again, I do want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys next time when I'm with 300 Lamborghinis. And it's just going to be it's just gonna be crazy. It's going to be such a cool video. I can't wait to show you guys. I'll catch you guys in a couple days. And have a safe and fantastic rest of your day.